Folks, as I mentioned today, Republican lawmakers introduced 13 new bills titled the Wisconsin Sporting Freedom Act. Now, a majority of those bills address hunting issues, but one is designed to benefit the state's hundreds of thousands of concealed carry gun owners. This comes on the day, the same day that Governor Evers wants to invest $45 million in COVID relief money to violence prevention. Republicans, like Senator Mary Felskowski, say it's time to change the state's open concealed carry law. We allow you to open carry. You can strap a, a 9 millimeter pistol on your hip and you can walk down Main Street, but you can't put a coat on. And we're here to rectify that. Republicans want to eliminate concealed carry permits and bans for carrying firearms in some buildings, like bars, but give businesses the option to post no weapons allowed. We are giving local control to individual businesses if they do not want people openly or concealed carrying any weapon into their business. They have the right to post against that. Republicans have rejected Democratic Governor Tony Evers' efforts to pass better gun background checks and a red flag law that helps identify a gun owner who should not have a weapon. Evers was in Milwaukee promoting a different solution to Milwaukee's gun violence. This level of investment from the, from the state, from violence prevention and victim services has long been needed. And while I pro propose violence pre uh, prevention grants in the past, time and time again, we've seen the Republican legislators refuse to act. Well, Charles, do any of the Republican bills address the gun violence in the city of Milwaukee? No, from the senator you heard there, she told me gun violence in Milwaukee is, quote, a whole other subject and deflect it with police funding and local policy issues.